in this video we will learn how to assign a symbol to a point layer svg marker symbol to a point layer and save it as a qml and use in another system and another version of qgis so how to do that let's have a look at this first of all i create a new shape file i'm just oh i create a temporary sketch layer okay it's a point layer okay now it's point layer i'm assigning a svg symbol to this simple marker here i'll select svg marker as you click on svg marker it will show a question mark here and you have to select the svg from here so these are all are the folders which contains different types of svg markers i'll tell you where these folders are stored as you hover the mouse over it it will show you are the path program file qgs like this so i'll show you in browser if i go to c program file qgs apps qgs ltr svg you will see all these are the folders which are appearing in qgs also these are the folders so here is our svg stored i am selecting a symbol if i select tourist and it's elephant symbol it's of jew symbol okay tourist jew I increase the size Let's go to 8 okay and I, i'll place these symbols here you will see these are the symbols of zoo so save it i want to save it as a qml so style save style i am saving this style on desktop it's a zoo save okay okay now i'm i will open this jew qml to notepad so here this line if you see this line this line has the svg path of zoo so it shows that inside the tourist folder there is a tourist underscore zoo svg if i save my qml and it look like in this format then it can be open in every version of qgis if i head towards another qml which i have test qml suppose this is my qml and it has path like this okay if it has path like this then it will not work in other version of qgs we have to change this so what have we have to do we have to delete this portion and keep only folder name slash svg name okay if i now i will assign this qml to our existing symbology if i assign sim that qml to here this point load style test qml open load okay now this symbol get change so you can edit your qml accordingly it should be like this here it is your folder name if you have something prefix then delete that and keep only this and this and then only your symbols are your symbols can be used in different versions of qgs so that's all in this video thank you